Okay, so I wanted to do a quick update on the video from last week because the video I posted up last week was three years old. And I think this battery bank and, and everything, this system, I think I'd had it in place about seven months at the time I shot the video. And uh, so I just wanted to do an update since it's been over three years and probably close to four years since I installed it. And in that four, three plus years, I've... I've had to add water to a few cells, maybe three times. So, it really doesn't, uh, you know, the lithium folks claim that you've got, got to always be adding water to lead acid batteries and everything. And that's just not true. Not in my experience, and I have quite a bit of experience with it. So, anyway... There it is, still working. Let me see if there's a date. Well, I thought the guy I bought it from would have uh, put a date on it somewhere because I I bought a uh, a big single battery from him. Oh, uh, an 8D starting battery and it was a, a used battery but real good condition and he uh, he warranted it for I think a year and he engraved the date that he sold it to me into the top of it so I was thinking he might have done the same thing here of course these were new in fact I think he had to order them for me although he often keeps them uh, in stock but this is the 370 amp hour at 20 hour rate, 303 amp hour at 8 hour rate, L16s. And they're still going great. And it's, um, let's look at this rich solar 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller. And uh, I looked at that, I looked at several different charge controllers and decided that this was the best uh, best overall deal for me based on the uh, the specs what it would do and what it cost I don't remember how much it cost but it was it was quite inexpensive for what it does and MPPT by the way means that you don't have to uh, set up your solar panels at in parallel and run it at 12 volts you can set them up in series up to uh, 90 volts peak I believe is what it's rated at and uh, this usually runs at about 65 to 75 volts because I don't want to uh, exceed the rated voltage of this but the good thing about uh, running panels like that and running an MPPT controller is that uh, it's more efficient in low light it might it won't give you much current in low light cloud cover and so on but it will still give you some charging whereas one that uh, if you set set up your panels in parallel or just have a single panel single 12 volt panel then uh, it drops out pretty quickly when the light starts going away but so here's what we got. Oh, you can cycle through here. You can see the battery bank is at 12.6 volts right now. That's with the load on it. That's with the standard 24/7 load of about 40 watts, and it's also with uh, this 60 watt light on it. So it's at 12.6, and it's the sun's going down now. You can see it's still showing a little bit of charge though, even though it's uh, it's dark enough to have to run this light in here to be able to see it. So 12.6 volts, that's fully charged. Although the little indicator doesn't show fully charged, but 12.6 with a bit of load, with 
a hundred watt, I mean, a, yeah, a hundred watt continuous load on it. Is, yeah, that's fully charged. And the fact that it can still do that after nearly four years, it can still do 12.6 with a 100 watt load on it. Tells you that the, uh, the batteries are still healthy. So, that's the DC load directly from here which I don't use but I might start using it at some point for a 12 volt light or something like that or maybe a fan and uh, but anyway it's zero I pull my uh, I pull my load di directly off the battery bank so these cables these four alt cables are going to the inverter all right, next. 31 degrees C. Three amp hours into the DC load. That's, well, I've, I've never used it. So, it somehow accumulated three amp hours over the four years or whatever that it's been in operation. 54 amp hours, and I think that's probably just today. I think that's in a rolling 24 hour period. So 54 amp hours into the battery, into the battery bank from the panel. See, it's showing an arrow. Currently, no pun intended, zero amps into the DC load. 12.6 volts and even though it's getting dark out there it's still 0 0.62 about about 5 eighths of an amp from the uh, solar panels into the battery bank so that's pretty good since you know it's it's getting dark outside and it's still outputting something and Right there you see the voltage directly off the bank of panels. There are four 100 watt panels. Uh, 17 or 18 volt panels which are what you need for charging 12 volts directly. But uh, like I said I've got them in series. So this is what they're actually doing right now. 12.8 volts so it just stopped charging. But it was at about 20 volts when we first looked at it. So there you go. 12.8. Actually it is showing a tiny bit of charge even now. So and I just wanted to say one more thing about the lithium well, fanatics. And don't get me wrong. I like lithium batteries and I tinker with those too. What I don't like are the people who uh, talk up, who hype up lithium cells and claim that uh, that they make lead acid batteries obsolete. They don't. And uh, in fact I'll probably make a video and it'll be a more positive video about lithium cells before long because like, like I said I do uh, as part of my hobby I mess with lithium batteries too as some of you already know and uh, but, and so I, you know, I, I intend to make another video about that before long and talk about some of the attributes of lithium cells. But uh, one thing that uh, the lithium fanatics say is that, uh, that you, can, you can use 100% of the capacity of a lithium cell every day for a whole lot of cycles. 10,000 cycles or something like that. 5,000 to 10,000 cycles. That's not true. It's completely untrue. But I just wanted to say, even if you could, even if that were true, if you're using it in a solar setup like this, why would you want to? 
why would you want to use 100% of the capacity every day? Because that just means that you're going to have a power outage every day. Whenever it gets to the limit of its capacity, your power is going to go off. So, you know, that's not a reasonable use scenario. All right, enough of that. Off the soapbox, we're talking about uh, this system and how well it's performing so far. Now, I do plan to build a uh, bigger system eventually. I can't afford it right now, but I would like to. They make a, a single cell in the L16 format. Oh, Trojan, Trojan does this brand, and that's a brand I've been with for a long time. But uh, they make a single cell L16, which is two volts. And I would like to build a bank of those. They're expensive, but uh, I think that would be pretty much a lifetime battery bank. Okay, enough for now. Thanks for watching.